Welcome back to the Mountain Lane Show House. I am here with Gina, who has not seen the house in about two months. Uh, lots has changed and it's gone from her brain to the house. So what are you excited to see? I mean, the exterior for, for one looks yeah, awesome. Looks the windows really are in, the paint's up, the addition is finished. Mm -hmm. And I only know there's like big surprises inside with the finishes, uh -huh. including one that I have for you. I'm not good with surprises, but she has something in store. So. Oh, you're gonna like it. All right. And I'm also excited to show you the primary bathroom, which has come a long way. The mud room, all the finishes. It looks yeah. really good. So come along, take a look. I hope it's what you were dreaming of now that it's really taking shape. I mean, I, every time I'm blown away by like what's in our heads and then it's on paper and then it comes to life. So what do you think? I'm excited. Yeah. It's turning into a real house. Um, it's almost done. So we're in the home stretch now. Um, that five feet that we added, if you guys remember that for the addition, has now gained us this beautiful, huge steam shower and also a private water closet. And so both of these spaces will be screened by some glazing that we're gonna install in just a few weeks. We can now see this gorgeous countertop by Silestone by Cosentino, the Harmony cabinetry by Bentwood. So all the finishes are really coming together and I feel like the architectural part of the home has come together really well too. Agree, you know, we did this clear story window up here by Marvin mm -hmm. to get you guys some natural light in here. But I think too what's important to note is that this elevation of the home actually faces the street. Yes. And so we didn't want a huge window into your kind of private, personal area of the home. So that's another reason we went with a clear story application. And then this is our addition, right? And so in that space, we're able to kind of redirect the elevation. And we did a little window in the water closet, which I love for natural light as well in there. And remember last time we talked about the Ansax tile, the Terrazzo Renata. Um, the fluted part is going to be our backdrop to our really pretty Kohler freestanding tub. So you saw the little piece last time. This is installed. It's getting there and it looks like everything I hoped it would. Remember I told you I had a surprise for you? Yes, vaguely. It's, time, it's been it's so time long. To see it. Okay, great. Let's see it. Okay, come down. That's really cool. Oh, I love this. I know, right? This is super fun. So it'll be a yeah, reading that's nook. great. I love it. Like I can see you throwing cushions in here. Yes, yeah, you know, perfect. They can just like get in and be, you know. Oh, like you're gonna shit. you're gonna be covered in sawdust, yeah. but yeah, great. I love it. And we can add the same detail. Both ridges will get the same detail, and then the hip beams will just terminate into the side. A lot is going on right now, as you can hear from all the background noise. We're in the mudroom. The cabinets are starting to go in. These are all reclaimed from the Aspen Mountain Club locker room. They're vintage, which I love. They have these super fun um, little name tags on them. This is Antonia and Ronnie's old locker. Um, this is all coming off, and we had new little name plates made. So there are the names of our favorite runs on Snowmass Mountain. Um, so each locker is going to get its own little name. We're almost done! We're in the home stretch. Laura, tell me. Finish line. We are a few weeks away from being completely finished. Yeah. Mostly finished. <laughs> um, and so the next time you see us, we will be unveiling the home furnished, lighting is in, all the finishing touches, and we can't wait. I can't wait. See you then. Bye, guys. <laughs>